What is going on guys? It's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the results that I got when benchmarking the 2017 12 inch MacBook. So without any further ado, let's hit the titles. Now the first test application that I ran was Geekbench. Now Geekbench gives a score for both single and multi-threaded tasks and after these tasks have been performed it will then give a score based on its performance and how long it took to perform them. Now for the 64-bit tasks on the single core side of things I got a score of 3683 whereas for the multi-core I got 6825 and for the 32-bit tasks I got a single core score of 3200 and a multi core score of 5981. Now, once again, using Geekbench 4, I ran a compute test to see how well the OpenGR engine runs through Geekbench. And as you guys can see, the score that I got was 16,823. Running another compute test using Geekbench 4, but this time testing the Metal graphical engine, I got a score of 15,438. The next benchmarking application that I ran was from GFX Bench to test out the OpenGL engine. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tasks which vary in intensity from higher and lower levels. These are both performed both on screen and off screen. And in the interest of saving time, I've calculated the average for all of these results. Now, for the higher level intensive tasks that were performed on screen, I got an average readout of 23.35 and on the lower end, I got 30.65. And for the tasks that were performed off screen, I got a higher readout of 60.84 and a lower of 59.35. Now, if you guys do want to see the results for each individual test that was performed, then of course you can screenshot or take a look at the results right now. The next benchmarking application that I ran once again came from GFX Bench, but this time we was testing the Metal Graphical Engine. Now just as I've done with the previous OpenGL test, I have calculated an average of all of the higher and lower level tasks. And the results that I got for the higher level tasks was 39.15 and for the lower graphical intensive tasks, I got a score of 60.13. The next benchmarking application that I ran was of course Novabench. Now Novabench runs a number of different tests on the hardware of the system and the score that I got with Novabench was 655. I then ran a disk speed test and got a read speed of 1099 megabytes per second and a write of 1282. The next benchmarking application that I ran was Cinebench. Now with Cinebench, I got an OpenGL score of 25.57 frames per second. And then once again, using Cinebench, I then did a CPU test. And with this, I got a score of 261. And ran Unigen Heaven at medium quality. And with that, I got a score of 477, along with an average FPS reading of 18.9 frames per second. So next up I did export a full 4K file with a length of 5 minutes 23 seconds at 1080p and with this it took around 3 minutes 14 seconds to fully export it. So next up I did of course export that full 4K file once again at 4K resolution and this took approximately 7 minutes 33 seconds to complete. So then guys, that has been it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new around here, then why not subscribe? If you have got any questions as to what you've seen in today's video, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Or of course, you can go ahead and hit me up on my social media. Once again, thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.